AFTV tie. Preseason game out of the way, the first one, um, a few more to come. First half, not so great. Second half, we made up for it. Jesus comes on and plays a big part. How you feeling? Big smile on your face. Black Lives Matter. I want to say thank you to the NHS, to all the key workers, to the teachers, to the volunteers, to the postal workers, the postal women, the nurses, shop workers, tube workers, everybody making this country a better place in these times. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, very happy at the end. I think you broke it down perfectly, so we might as well end the interview now because yeah. you've covered everything. So, you know, yeah, yeah, absolutely, really, really happy. I heard what you're saying, Helen, you're right. Didn't see no Fabio as well. You know, great start from Gabriel J. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very, a positive second half, but a disappointing and a worrying, obviously, in pre-season terms. I don't think we can afford to start like that. Obviously, not in the season and not even in the next game because we did start like that in pre-season last season and we went on to lose our first three games. But, yeah, sorry. No, you say worrying, but you also mentioned it's the first pre-season is, game, is, so is, is, we is, can is. let them off that first half Absolutely. by something that we need to monitor moving forward. Absolutely. As long as we learn, because we were able to claw it back. I used to, and if it was against a better team, maybe we wouldn't have been able to claw it back. So, you know, we got the quality on the bench and we were able to do it, but it's something to learn. But listen, positive vibes in the second half. I thought the team did well, you know, so... Yeah, it's all, it's all good at the moment, but we're, we're going to be honest. It is what it is. Listen, no disrespect to the opposition, but they're not the highest calibre, you know. So, listen, maybe you can afford to do that against this opposition, but against higher opposition, which we will face in America, I don't think you can. So, listen, it's things to work with, but listen, it's the second game, you know, after the comfortable win against Ipswich, which was behind closed doors and which was expected. But, you know, we'll have to see. I agree with Helen. I, I love the link up play. I thought Jesus was superb. If you just talk about what he's done, you know, he didn't even play a full half. You yeah, know? in terms of a debut. Yeah, yeah. He didn't play a full half, you know. So it's interesting. Like we were saying in the watch along, that he's going to be the main man and he wants to take that extra responsibility and he's in there. And that's 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 what we want. That's what we want. So it's all positive vibes. If I can get my words out... <laughs> going on forward so we're onwards and upwards but mindful of what of the start that we had so we try to put the side the starting to the side and concentrate not acting like that but bring on the second half and concentrate on starting like that in our next preseason game in the front foot. Um, Helen yes. mentioned that before the season starts ideally she wants to see four players come in yeah. before the preseason tour it's a stretch, but even one coming over the line. What do you think we need before 5th of August, Friday night fixture against Crystal Palace to kick off the season? How many players do you think we need going into that game? Yes, Friday night against our legend, invincible captain, Patrick. Patrick's team. Yeah, 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 I would agree. I think we need at least four. Will we get four? I don't think so. But hopefully we can get at least one more in before the 5th. And then after that, if if all goes well, we can hopefully maybe get a couple more before the transfer deadline closes. Yeah, but I, th I, th I think we'll get in one more, but I think that'll be it for now. Um, Helen mentioned Tillemans, Milinkovic, Savage, yes. obviously focusing on the midfield area. If it was to be one in before that Crystal Palace game, what area of the pitch are you looking at? Midfield as well? Are you looking at maybe Lissandro Martinez at the back? I know he's being linked to Man United now, but what profile <laughs> of player are you looking at? Ooh. Very good question. Um, either of them would be... An upgrade. Absolutely, would be great. But I'm thinking maybe Martinez would be the one that we would maybe need urgently in the fact that and if we could get him in now, that'd be good because we've got a lot of midfielders. Obviously, obviously we would like Tielemans and Malinko, Malinkic, Savage. Sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. You know, we'd like them, but Martinez would be the one I think we would desperately need now. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you on that. Martinez seems like the profile that would improve us at the back, give us another options. But at the same time, Milinkovic Savage improves that midfield so much. But if we're going to get one over the line, there is upgrades to be made in different areas on the pitch. It could be a goal scoring forward, it could be some more 
box to box in midfield, or it could be someone at the back that can play full back, central, maybe inverted. So I'm with you on that Martinez one. Um, are you confident about Arsenal going into this season? Because a lot of people are mentioning, you know, we've been a we've been a bit different in the transfer window this mm, year. Mm, um, yeah. Do you agree? And do you see good signs moving into next season? Yeah, well, you know me, Turkish. <laughs> I'm always confident. I'm always confident. But yes, we have been a bit different in the fact that we've been more proactive, and I think that's good. Will it pay off? Let's hope. Let's hope it will. I think we are moving differently and obviously it's still disappointing that we missed out on top four but I think if we get the signings in it will be to make sure that there is not the mistakes that we unfortunately made last season so yeah yeah no yeah I I, I am confident I'm always confident about the team but I would say with the confidence that I always have there has to be caution and with the caution, caution it's like anything when you when you 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 um you analyse more in defeat than when you win. Yeah. So, with obviously winning this game, we still have to look at what we did wrongly. And we have to look at, even though we might not like it, what we did wrong last season. So we don't repeat it. We're in a maybe different spectre, to want to use a big word, in the fact that we have two chances to hopefully get Champions League in, hopefully winning Europa League or top four. But we saw what happened last time that if you're not if you're you don't have the squad you sometimes can fall out of things and also listen we didn't have Bukayo today and yeah. Bukayo played every single game mm -hmm. now he can't do that next season you know so yeah 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 I'm confident as long as we learn the lessons of last season which I like to believe and hope we will and get the players in hopefully in later September yeah I'm 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 confident. I don't I don't see why we can't uh, achieve what we wanted to achieve last season. And that's Champions League football. Absolutely, and 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 maybe even more. So yeah, 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 yeah. Champions League football, maybe even more. Thank you, Ty. <laughs> Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.